So in this tutorial, you will learn how to make this cool revealing effect in Blender using geometry nodes and anyone with basic knowledge of Blender can join along and let's make this together. To explain you in brief, we are going to take a head bust, duplicate it and retexture it and next place it back in. And from there we are going to add the decimate modifier to break down the geometry followed by the geometry node setup to make the mesh react to any object like shown. Now before we begin, let's address the elephant in the room. How big are the nodes? This is it, not too big, not too small and we will be constructing it right from the start. Alright, so firstly I want you to download the 3D model from the link in description and download the specific OBJ format. Once done, come back to Blender, File, Import, OBJ and let's spawn it in. Shift D to duplicate and let's hide it from the viewport and let's work on this. Once you press Tab, you will realize it's a really dense mesh which can create a, a problem while animating. So what I will do is I will apply a decimate modifier and I mean the rich guys with the really good hardware can just skip this step alright. To the broke guys who have a really bad system I'm here to do the social work let's go 0 0.01 and you will see the mesh has collapsed a bit and let's shade it flat to see alright there you go we have low polys on this let's control A to apply alright our first step is done next let's bring back the hidden model and you will realize that these are both overlapping which we do not want I will press tab and I will press A to select all vertices alt S and I will just squeeze it in just slightly squeeze it in I think right there I think that's fine now we do not have these overlapping which is good and now I want you to create your god and open up geometry nodes panel press new and let's get creating now I want you to spawn two nodes number one set position as the name suggests it positions its x y and z coordinates For the people who are confused like why do I have different colors select random from the shading menu viewport shading you must be have select you must have selected single select random all right and the next node which I want you to spawn is scale elements as the name suggests it scales the elements of the mesh all right so the number one thing which I want to happen here is that this mesh should expand along its normals if I press tab you will see that each each phase had its own, has its own normals all right so I want this mesh to expand along its normals for that I will use the set position node and I will spawn normal and let's plug it in you will realize that something exactly of that kind has uh, happened I will use another node vector math so this node basically basically is to control how far this goes alright I will use multiply here anything multiply by 0 is 0 alright nothing is happening if I expand it now it's expanding alright Another thing which is going wrong here is that these faces are being attached while they are they are being scaled they are attached to each other all right so to detach them I will quickly use another node called split edges and once I plug it in let's see what happens and now our problem is solved the faces are being split as they are expanding all right so let's move forward so if you look closely here you will realize that each face is like equidistance from their original positions alright to spice things up I will use a noise texture and I will plug it right here let's see what happens something weird has happened now you will also see that this noise texture is also working on the vertices but I want it to work on the face positions I will show you what I mean I will use a capture attribute I will plug this in I will use vector I will select face 
so to all the nooms I just want to break this down like if you spawn a spreadsheet here let's spawn a cube for a better example if I select this you will see it has vertex 8 edge 12 phase 6 blender has everything stored alright if I select this mesh this has different but everything is stored now I'm just calling it out like blender I want this function to come out of you alright I will use position position of the faces alright now let's see what happens if I plug this right here let's go near and let's plug this attribute here now you will see our faces are currently being displaced by this noise now to gain more control over it I am going to add a color ramp right in between and I'm going to bring these closer something like this I guess works let's bring this a bit close like this and I will also reduce scale to 1 and also bring 4d right here and now if you increase this w value you will see s this is this effect is going all around the mesh let's have this something like this maybe up to you I mean however you like one thing what we can do here is I can bring my timeline here and I will plug in scene time let's bring scale um, seconds and I will plug this in W value and let's see what happens when we run the timeline and this effect is going all around the mesh to slow it down maybe I will bring a math node and maybe I'll use divide divide by maybe 3 now it's much slower what else we, we can do here is add a solidify modifier generate solidify and make sure it's going inward not outward like this it's going inward give it some depth to it and now run the timeline and I mean this is a good effect on its own you can further have some adjustment over it like this maybe so let's not forget we also have the scale elements node if you just fiddle around with this you will realize that when you bring it to zero everything becomes invisible and if you bump it up they are getting out of scale alright I am going to add a float curve the best part about float curve is that you have values concealed from zero to one here it is zero and here it is one if I plug it in nothing will happen but if I bring this down just to experiment with everything goes off this is one and that is zero alright let's plug this value whatever we are getting from this scene time let's plug this in right here and see what happens all right everything the farthest value is one right now and the nearest is zero so in start from invisible to visible so let's reverse the, refer, reverse this up I will bring this up and drag this down so the farthest ones become invisible and the nearest one becomes visible all right let's play it again now this is much smoother animation I guess to control this further I will sh add a math node set it to multiply and I will just place this here now with this I, if I increase it you will realize the farthest values are getting more towards zero so I will just increase this to around 1.5 I guess and let's play it again much smoother effect alright let's see the difference if I just get this off we had this effect now once I plug it in it's fair not bad I think I think and I mean it's a good effect on its own people can even stop here and now we have finally come to the most ignored and skipped part of this video no! No sponsors actually but if you like what I do and want to support me those people can buy my courses and in return I will make you a blender god. That's it. Please continue. Now for the people who are not tired and want to learn some advanced stuff this is for you. First of all I will save this as effect 1 and again effect 2 so that you don't lose this masterpiece as we are going to change it first of all I want you to delete these two nodes and let's pause the animation also and I will bring this a bit far to a point where, where the faces are not exactly attached to the inner face somewhere here maybe like this this is fine 
and we know uh, like for example if I shift D and get this here now we know that if this value is 0 we have all the initial positions and if we decrease this value they go far alright so this uh, all of this effect is, be is being now controlled by this node but what if we have some kind of a UV sphere an external object which interacts with this value for that I will just bring the sphere inside of our geometry node and I will select relative and let's bring this down and for this we are going to use a proximity node and I will plug this here and finally this goes right here and now you will see that our object is kind of interacting with it but not exactly what we want let's correct this up by getting a color ramp first and let's bring these values closer and then now again you will see that our our mesh has some deformation in their vertices also like you see here the faces on no, are not perpendicular to the normals again I will bring this up attribute and plug this into source position right here let's correct this up there it goes and now our faces are again perpendicular see now we are kind of getting somewhere now let's also go into your object menu and viewport display change it to bounce and also make sure that this is not visible in the renders all right now to further gain control over it i will bring in a math node plug this here choose divide and i will divide the scale by distance so this what it does is it gains it it gains us access to its scale and location now object scale is also interacting with it correctly and the location of it is also interacting now the best part if you run the animation again timeline if you run the animation you will realize that our effect is all right place the objects are still moving now to make a clean sweep we can use the scale elements node so that the farthest anim uh, elements are, are zero so that we can see the interface clearly I will simply spawn a float curve like we, like we did before and I will revert let's see what happens if I just plug it in straight kind of a reverse is happening we will just simply reverse this up right here and that's it I think we have a good and nice effect in place